Welcome to this video. I'm playing Oligas, old, my old nemesis. Yeah, can I do something crazy against him? Let's do something crazy. I really uh, hate the games against the guy, so why not do something crazy? Playing the Black Madima Gambit. <laughs> He's declining. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how can I can I get some some sort of attack? I really want a sharp position him. Yeah. Playing long castling. Yeah, knight takes bishop f2, bishop g5 is a very embarrassing thing which should be avoided. But that's not a bad position at all. A4, I have to react to. And I try to be quick because he will, as you know, if you have watched some of my videos, he will play each and every position on time. And uh, yeah, you know. Okay, uh, this is this is just good for white. Come on, I'm just going to to blast this guy out of the water here. I'm 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 totally fed up with him. Let's see, takes bishop takes. I'm winning, and I'm threatening to capture anyway. <laughs> My score is funny. I have. Seven draws against him, nine losses, and no win with the chess explained account, which is really crazy. He's not even a better player, I mean, in, in tournament chess or whatever. Um, Check. Uh, let's see. And knight to e5, uh, that should be, should be really good. The only problem is, of course, that I don't have... <laughs> this bishop is not playing. Um, how do I get this into play? Do I need to get it into play? Is there something else? I mean, he's really, really in trouble here. I can do h4, h5, but without the bishop, hmm, not easy. Yeah, that's not not that easy, really, because of my dead bishop. Check. <clears throat> the good thing is that besides the, I mean, I have a huge, <laughs> a huge um, positional advantage, but I also have an extra pawn, which is really useful. Okay, so I have to trade this. Really no no choice. attacking g2 indirectly okay I want to keep the pawn but I also have still have some some vague chances to play against his king g4 h4 and stuff At least it is safe here anyway. Okay, e6, e6, and rook d7. I don't know. Let's. I okay. Yes, rook f2. Hmm. 
Rook F2 is kind of annoying. h2 i wanted to play e6 but he can really just take that he really can take that mm, now that probably wasn't a great idea yeah this this whole thing e6 rook takes and check I don't have I don't have a win there. Surprisingly. <laughs> it's really really strange all that. Hard to hard to understand everything here. Rook f2 I can take on b5. This which is a resource that I had overlooked before. h6 king h6 rook d6 check king g5 check let's do that rook d6 check king g5 i have at least queen g6 uh, rook g6 and queen h1 i think it it should win but i'm not totally totally sure rook d6 king g5 queen g i uh, know and rook g6 king h5 this that's no win right I mean, I, I can always give this check on g6 and play rook d4, but I'm not sure if I'm winning. It looks uh, very nice, but I'm still not sure if I win. Okay, Time he, warning. he didn't take it. So I can give this check now on h7. Yeah, I definitely check. should do that. But now, what now? This check, king e7. There is no mate, which is kind of curious. At least I don't see it. I don't see a checkmate. Probably I'm totally blind. I don't see a mate here. I mean, I'm king. I'm threatening to check on h8 and rook d7. I don't know. Rook f5 is also threatened. Check. Uh, come on, this is a win now, right? Black resigns. This is very satisfying. So this is what I need to do against him. Play some offbeat nonsense and uh, attack the king. Yeah, I sort of thought of that, <laughs> that before, but <laughs> I don't know. He uh, very often gets uh, this kind of idiotic endgames and wins on time. But okay, I need to do some direct attack, it seems. Yeah, 
uh, I don't know, around here it looks like white should win easily, but I'm really playing without um, without the, let's uh, scroll a little bit back here. I'm playing, I'm playing without, um, um, without the bishop and this is this is really check really a bit of a problem I am um, rook d5 and rook e1 is the computer suggestion yeah maybe the computer finds a way without the bishop check. but as a human player I wanted to get all pieces involved I'm definitely keeping an advantage here but I'm not playing it right, definitely not. Check. This here, yeah. And here I should probably just take the pawn on, on b5. Around here I'm drifting. Here, here. Yeah, and now Check. this move, which, which I spotted, unfortunately. What I was Check. seeing is I saw this variation Check. and rook d4, and it is winning. Yes, okay. I wasn't completely sure if I'm winning or... I mean, I saw I get the queen back, and I mean, his king is on h4, and uh, it looks really problematic, but I wasn't sure if I'm winning, but the computer says it's plus two, so I am winning. So... This 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 rook takes h6 was the Check. decider. Ah, mm, very nice. Rook e6 winning. Oh, I missed that. That's nice. Look at this. Check. this is a Checkmate. Beautiful checkmate. Kind of an epaulette mate uh, with a twist. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Okay. This was winning. What what about my move? Was this winning as well? Yeah. It it was. And now e6. Check winning the queen. So, yeah, this is the recipe for success against this guy. <laughs> Play the black Medima, try to mate him. Okay, well, thanks for watching.